Hi friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. In this lecture, we will see desirable properties of an optical fiber source. Okay, so we will see here what are the properties that a good optical fiber source should have. Let's see these properties one by one. Number one property, the light source should be highly directional to make the launching of light into an optical fiber easy. This is very obvious property that the light that comes out from the optical source should be very directional so that we can direct it easily into the core of the fiber. The second property is it should emit light at wavelengths where the optical fiber has low losses and low dispersion. The detectors should also be efficient at that wavelength. It means since when the light rays propagate through the fiber, then we know that there are some losses and also the dispersion. Dispersion means the spreading of the light while traveling. These losses and dispersion are dependent on the wavelength that we are using. So the light source should emit wavelengths, should emit light at the wavelengths where there are low losses and low dispersion. This is a very desirable property of an optical fiber source. And not only this, the detectors should also be efficient at that wavelength. So they should be able to detect efficiently the these light rays at these wavelengths. Okay. Now let's see the third property. It is also required that the optical source must couple enough optical power to overcome losses in fiber and in the connectors. And after these losses, enough power should be left to drive the detector. Did you get this point? It says that since there are losses when the light ray propagates through the fiber due to its material and other factors also. And not only this, there are losses in the connectors also. We need large distance communication that we need to connect these optical fibers. So there are some losses in the connectors. Optical fiber source should be capable of delivering that much of uh, enough power that it can overcome these losses while traveling and also the losses that are uh, caused in the connectors. Not only this, the after these losses, there are there should be enough power that can drive the detector that is required to drive the detector to detect that light ray. Okay, optical source should be linear to minimize the distortion and noise. As we understand that linearity is an important factor to minimize the distortion and also we need low lo low noise. Okay, so it should be linear to minimize the distortion and noise. This is very important quality. The fifth point is to minimize the distortion the fiber, the optical source should have a very narrow spectral bandwidth that is the line width okay since we know that dispersion means the spreading of the light rays when they travel through the optical fiber okay so it should be minimum we need least dispersion ideally zero dispersion so the beam width that is the bandwidth the spectral bandwidth of the optical fiber source should be very narrow as much as possible okay the optical source should be capable of simple signal modulation over a wide bandwidth. That is the audio frequencies to gigahertz range. We need an optical source. We desire the desirable property in an optical source is the capability of that source for simple signal modulation over large bandwidth. That bandwidth is should be as large as from audio frequencies to the gigahertz range. Okay because we need to modulate the signal for transmission okay the seventh property the light source must be inexpensive and also very reliable this is very obvious uh, property that the light source that we are using should not be costly okay and it should be very reliable means it should be able, able to work for long period of time for many years the eighth point the source should provide a stable optical output that is it should not affect due to 
ambient conditions like temperature etc since there are many conditions uh, there are many factors that may affect the working of the optical fiber like temperature so it should be very stable it should provide very stable output this should not vary with the environmental or the ambient conditions present you so these were the important properties of an optical fiber that we want to use in uh, optical fiber communication if these all qualities are present in an optical fiber source then it would be considered as a good source for optical fiber communication so thanks for watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye